Welcome back to our videos. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, seriously, though. Like, welcome back. Uh, we're, today we're going to be... We're going to be, we're gonna be uh, installing a TV bracket. Um, not really tall here, because of the ceiling. I know, so they're tall. small. But uh, the TV will be on the floor. Just to remember, if you like the videos, like or this survive. video, or a previous video, to like and survive. Um, <laughs> like and survive. Like and subscribe. <laughs> you thought I was missing. I'm still here. That's it. Because we're on bars. That's it. We're going to require these tools. Right, thanks to Jack. He's done a really good job of telling us we need tools. So let's actually go through what we need. First thing, combi drill. You're going to need a combi drill, any brand you like. This is unbranded. Forget about the yellow colour. Next is a tape measure. You're going to need a tape measure. Any brand, doesn't matter. As long as you've got a tape measure. Cheers, Jeff. Good job. Uh, a spanner, if you haven't got a ratchet set, which we'll get to. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> <laughs> a pencil. Doesn't have to be this pencil, any pencil. You're going to need a hammer. <laughs> and now you know how to work with these tools. If you've got an SDS drill or a hammer drill dedicated to being a hammer drill, not just a combi, <laughs> that's obviously going to go through the wall a lot better. And most TV brackets, they come with bolts, not screws. A lot of them do. So, a little ratchet set is going to make your life a lot easier. And that's how it works. Perfect. Cheers. Good job, Jack. Let's shut that up. Forget about the brand, any brand. And lastly, a level, Jack. We need a level. Have we got a level? Oh, there's a level. Whoa. That's what you want me to do. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. So, next, <laughs> let's get to opening the package. So, here's a little package we just got delivered from Amazon, of course. Let's open this up and see what we got. Oh, a package in a package. Well, I think. Master seat. Oh, oh, oh my god. Let me just get this and this. Throw this. And so we have a CV bracket, some mounting points. More rubbish, one million screws, a load of washers, screws and washers for the wall. A little mini, little, little ditty level. And a template. I'll just bring you the TV. Oh, why are you bringing the TV? <laughs> oh, we're that's not, dusty. No, we're not ready for that, Jake. Yeah, we are ready. Yeah, we are Forget ready. about him. Oh. Quite away soon. <laughs> Oh, where's that? Hey, 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 hey. We plan these things before they happen. Right. Just put it over there. Do anything. Where are you doing? Now I'm panicking. Right, let's move this. Let's move Is this. It, can it save me? I think so. Oh, that's actually a bit of a lump. You want help? Hold on there. Oh. Right. First of all, cheers. Hello. <laughs> I'm First Dave. of all. Right. D Stop it! <laughs> Idiot. Right, first things first, let's unwrap a couple of these things. So, oh, uh, I like that idea. That's very good. Pull. Yeah. Rather than a stupid screw. I love it. Bottom left. Right, let's talky talky for a second second there. This is a very basic bracket. This is a bracket that sits on the wall. One TV sits, no pulling it out, no swivel. But it's the same thing, they all do the same. It sort was a thing when it comes to fixing them to the order or the same. It's just the mechanics of it slightly different. Nothing. Yeah. This wall's definitely not being knocked down on camera soon, so. <laughs> Ignore him. Right. Ignore him, screw up. What you want to do, first of all, very first job, is decide where you want your TV because you can't just put this in the middle and hope that your TV sits there. 
because all brackets sit different. Some of the swivel brackets sit to one side, some sit in the center, some sit low, some sit high. Best way to do this is to take the mounting brackets for your TV, which is this, and this one's actually got a feature I haven't seen before, which is spring latches to stop the TV coming off. Normally it's a little bolt that goes in the bottom, but hey ho, all the same thing. And then what you want to do is offer this up to the fixing brackets on the back of your TV so that it's not showing out the bottom or the top and it's as centre as you can get it, which as is going to be there. And we're going to temporary mount it with the screws that come with the brackets and maybe the washers if you need them. You get a lot of choice, didn't you? Because they fit most... Uh, yeah, they offer you all different sizes and things. shapes. What I'll do is carefully organise them by throwing them all on the floor because we really don't care what way they go. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be one of these. And what you want to do, you want to try the... Nobody's going to learn if you carry on like this, are they? Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. So we've determined what screw fits as. When you're finding out what screw, when you're finding out what screw fits your TV, what you want to do is wind them in by hand. If they bottom out before they're into the TV fully, you're going to have to run spacers. Don't be trying to force them in there because you're just going to damage the TV. So you found a screw, but it doesn't wind in all the way by hand. Little plastic spacers, add the spacers until they wind in freely and all the way shut without any force. That is very important because you will damage the TV. Right, <laughs> there's a little thing I forgot. You're gonna need a little screwdriver. Don't be using a drill on these. You just don't want to risk it. Use a little hand screwdriver. Back to the old school. Right, so no screw we've got case. the screws that fit our TV. We've got the washers on there. I'm going to wind these in. Don't apply too much pressure. The measurement we were... We're unbiased on this channel. <laughs> right, so the measurement we want is from the centre of the bolt to the bottom of the TV, so let's get that. Hundred and sixty mil. We're gonna write on this wall because this wall is getting knocked down in a future video, so make sure you subscribe for that one. Hundred and sixty mil to the bottom bracket to the bottom of your TV from the bottom mounting hole on the bracket. All to, 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 to televisions are different. Let's measure our one. It measures at exactly cheap. <laughs> <laughs> now it measures at 560, like this, 560, measure your one, they're all different. We, right, so now you want to decide where on this wall you want your TV, just to make it easier for the video. We're just going to say anywhere, because this wall is actually come down, we're just doing it for the video. So let's say we want the bottom of our TV here, you can work it out on your own wall where you want the viewing height. From that mark there, we're going to come up 160 mil, which was the difference on the TV. So, 160 mil, that will be the centre of your holes on your bracket. Your TV is going to sit there. So, let's get the centre. 8, 9, 5. Beautiful. And obviously, we've got our measurement from our mark, which was 160. And then what we do from there is take our, if you don't get a template, you can just use the plate itself. This one come with a template, so it makes our life a lot easier. You want the center of this. We've got the centre of our template and we've got the centre row of our bolt holes. That is a nice pimp walk, I love it. What you want to do is get your three level. Look at that, that's lovely. Our template is perfect. Lovely. Anyway, <laughs> this is all levelled on the wall. We've got our line through our bolts and what we're going to do is literally 
mark these out wibbly wobbly hands as you can tell i used to be a professional artist in your packet you're going to get some bolts this bracket comes with six what i'm going to do with them is i'm going to put four in the top and two in the bottom the reason i'll do that is because there's a lot more weight on the top the brackets trying to pull away from the top rather than pull away from the bottom it's not trying to pull to the scene it's trying to pull to the floor so four on the top and i put two on the bottom we've got six these ones are 10 mil so we need a 10 mil bit which jack has got we are unbiased at this channel so get your unbranded your drill. unbranded drill <laughs> any hammer drill or if you haven't got a hammer drill a combi drill. Combi drill is going to be a bit more difficult to get through the wall. They've not got as much power, but that will they will do it. So let's get Jack on the drill. Yeah. That's... Jack! 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 What? Stop! <laughs> what did you do? No, I think there's a lot of holes in it, though. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so, mate. What did you do? Don't do what I've done. And that people at home is our knot. To drill the wall so if you don't want to be like jack what you want to do get your bolt or your screw or whatever you're using put it on the end of your drill take some tape this is a bit over the top but we wrap it around now we've got a depth indicator some drills come with a depth indicator but it's easier just to do this and that will stop you doing exactly what jack's done he's, he's really important he's on the uh he's on the phone to absolutely no one and also, you want to get yourself a hoover. You want to, you want to get yourself a hoover because it will stop all because the Because you should clean. Going on the floor. <laughs> or clean, whatever you want to do. And then when Phil's drilling, it will suck all the dust. And it will be absolutely spotless on the floor. Right, now we've got our 10 mil holes. We're gonna take our plugs. Your wall won't look like this. We've just done it for you. You don't need all these marks. You just need the ones for the bracket. But as I said, the wall's coming down, so we don't really care. Tap, tap, tap. Right, now our bolts are in. As you can see from our super expensive level they sent with it we are spot on this is where you're going to need your ratchet start bolting it up now i'm not going to be doing that because it's a bit of a long process and i've got tools but that is what you'll do next we've got an attachment so we will be using that we're just going to test the bracket, <laughs> see if Phil's done it right. Well, and you never trusted me. Right, <laughs> now we know it's bolted in and it's on, let's get the TV on. So you hook the top on, <laughs> and then click the bottom. Click the bottom. And that is this bracket, you can actually slide the TV left and right. So even if you was out a little bit, you have got some adjustment on some of the brackets, not all of the brackets. And then you just make sure centered which we are miles off there we go this is the tv bracket we put it on the wall we had a good time phil had a good time don't, I had a jack had a good time. time don't worry about the, the actual tv we put a bracket on the wall forget about the tv the, the tv is yours <laughs> <laughs> oh we finished each other's sandwiches <laughs> Oh, oh like anyway, <laughs> like and subscribe if you like the If you want to like and subscribe, we do appreciate it. And comment down below. <laughs> we, we talk over each other a lot, as you can see. Yeah, because we finished having each other's sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. Just remember, <laughs> like and subscribe. And, uh, we'll see you on the next one. If you've got any videos you want us to do, chuck it in the comments and we'll try and do it. I mean, I probably won't be flying a plane. But I can put a shelf up, you let us know what you want us to do, and we'll do it. Okay.